there. My name is Katie Dimple Manning, and I'm a licensed master social worker and a therapist with Houston Therapy in Houston, Texas. Today in our staff meeting, we were discussing why six months into this pandemic, we are noticing that so many of our clients are experiencing more struggles or worse symptoms than before. Been in a pandemic this long, what is it about this period right now that is making it worse? And so we came up with a couple ideas and I wanted to share these with you in case you might think that they resonate with you and it might be helpful to just hear that you are not alone in this. So here's kind of what we came up with. It is a very confusing time right now. Obviously it has been for a while, but I think a lot of people were expecting August to be this sort of turning point where we would be back in school safely or there would be a, a vaccine of some kind, or this just would have passed by now. And with flu season coming up and an election coming up and now schools are slated to start, but we don't know how that's gonna look. It's just very uncertain. And in addition, schools opening affects so, so many more people having to be out in public than were before. I mean, you have the students, the parents, the parents' families, anybody they may visit, and teachers and teachers' kids and their families. It's, it's so many people. And I just don't think that so far we have had one piece of this that affects so many. Uh, and that can be really scary and just unsettling. So that's one aspect. Another is that this is an election year and it's been a particularly contentious election year and just a really confusing one. Many people don't know how they're gonna vote in November as far as logistically. Are they gonna be able to use mail-in ballot? Do they have to go in person? Will it be safe? We just don't know those things. Um, so it's very scary and unsettling to know that our leadership and our ability to participate in democracy is kind of uncertain right now. It's really, really frightening. And lastly, there's been a lot of racial trauma resurfacing that has always been present for people of color. However, it's been even more, uh, receiving more attention in the media and social media. People are paying attention to this, which is good. However, seeing these things over and over again and some of the things that are happening at the protests can be really traumatizing for lots of people. And I think that combination is just a perfect storm to make people feel a little bit worse, more on edge and less secure in the world. So if this is you and you're hearing this and you're like, oh my gosh, like, yeah, I really relate to this and I'm scared and it's hard, please know you are not alone. You are not alone. There are so many people feeling the same way as you right now. It is just scary and uncertain. And what you're feeling, while it doesn't feel normal to feel this way, it is very normal to react this way to a global pandemic that is just affecting our lives in so many uncertain ways, and especially when we hit all these turning points I mentioned before. So I hope for you that you can validate this feeling in yourself, which means to acknowledge it and say, ooh, I am feeling more scared, depressed, anxious, worried, whatever that feeling is. So I validate it by saying, I am feeling this, and I understand that that's a natural reaction to this whole situation. So I hope you can validate that for yourself in that way. Secondly, I really hope you can cut yourself some slack. A lot of us are trying to operate at the same level we did pre-pandemic. Even though our lives have completely changed, we may have lost or shifted jobs, we may have moved our jobs home, we may be at home with our kids all the time now. There's so many factors that have changed. So it's really important to cut ourselves slack and say, you know what, I'm doing the best I can. There is no grace period by when I have to have COVID life figured out, whatever that means to you, um, and that you really are doing your best that it's hard right now, validate that for yourself. And lastly, if you are feeling significantly uh, impaired, like you're having a really hard time functioning in your daily life, like getting up in the morning and getting dressed and even just doing those little things, or if you're feeling like, gosh, like I had a hold on everything before in the beginning of quarantine, and now it's kind of falling apart. I don't know how to do my job at home. I don't, you know, if you're really struggling with these things, that there is help out there can try therapy. Houston Therapy has a lot of great clinicians that are available and taking clients right now. You can also go to Psychology Today if you're looking for someone who accepts insurance and you can even filter by your insurance section. If you want to go with Houston Therapy, you go to houston-therapy.com and that dash is a little hyphen, like a minus sign, not like a slash. So houston-therapy.com and look into it and make an appointment. While it's very, like I said, it's so typical to be going through this in a pandemic, if it's starting to feel 
unmanageable, we are here for you and you do not have to go through this all by yourself. So please reach out if you need help. And if you don't, just make sure you can cut yourself some slack and validate the way you're feeling. It's natural and I hope it gets better soon. Take care.